Hello guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. Hope you had a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to One Tree Hill, season six, episode, I think it's episode 15. This episode is called We Change, We Wait. I am so, so excited going to this episode because finally, like finally, Brooke, I'm not sure if it's gonna be serious or not, but I just, I just hope that it's gonna be serious because since she broke up with Lucas, she hasn't been in a serious relationship and I don't consider Chase a serious, a very serious relationship. Neither Owen, of course, so I just hope that he is the one. Like, I mean, it's been... It's been years. Like, seriously, Brooke deserves someone. <laughs> Come on, she deserves to have a family. I just want her to be happy. So I really hope that this is it. Like, he is the one. Please. And I really like Julian, by the way. He's so charismatic. It's insane. And like, they really suit each other very well. Just saying. But anyway, without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. I'm kind of nervous for you, Nathan. This guy won't leave him alone. Seriously, why won't he pass the ball? So, yeah, just so I he can prove sorry. himself? You do realize we lost the game. Exactly. No. Nathan, yeah, that's Nathan, right. just walk away, please, Nathan. He's causing the team defeat. What the hell? You didn't lose, Daddy. Those losers did. Whoa. Exactly. It doesn't matter if I'm playing or not. It's still my team. That's such a great dad. I am now. Oh, my God. When did they mature so much? I. Um, what am I gonna tell Peyton? I can't be on the couch kissing you. Well, okay, and then maybe we should just continue this. <laughs> I gave Sam a very strict no boys bedroom. <laughs> okay, then that means you're allowed to break it once. It's only no, fair. No, it doesn't right? work that way. <laughs> <laughs> that grin should be. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> Cool. Bedroom was a much better idea. It's I think you should repeal the no boys in the bedroom rule. You stand. I'm with Julian. <laughs> what? I'll just let myself out. <gasps> oh, they have such chemistry. Oh, Jesus. This is the spot where Lucas's rival gang kills his uncle Keith in a drive by shooting. Rival okay. gang? I'm done here. I feel like it's been a long time since Same I saw that. This team's gonna keep losing. I've, I've seen it before. You know what you sounded like just then? A coach. Exactly, I was about to say but that. But you turned down that job, remember? <laughs> just gonna have to wait your but turn. But still, now. come on. He sounds like a good player and a coach. Don't like the hats. <laughs> no, if it was fine, you wouldn't have mentioned it. It, it would just blend in. <laughs> He's meeting his father, well, okay. Director choose your director for you. Now, if you don't like that idea, you have until tomorrow. I don't like the dad. <laughs> Julian! Oh, he, he, he wanted to impress his father with the hat or something? Well, I never had a letterman jacket. Now you do. Oh. Did you make this for me? Yep. Oh. And look at that. So you let it all for you. Thanks, Brooke. You're welcome. Oh my god, they work. I'll see you later. They really work. Okay. They really fucking Hi. work. You two are totally having sex. No, we're not. <laughs> you so are. I can sense it. Well, then your senses are off. <laughs> because we are sense not it? Sex. He's going to be off on another movie with a new conquest. Oh, and no. Not, that charming no, guy he doesn't with look the <gasps> secret. Are you serious? Seriously? He doesn't look like he's that guy. Haley, will you marry me? That is so creepy on so many levels. Exactly. <laughs> crazy director in LA wanted to end the movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they end up the movie like this. Oh, my God. Wow. Like she said. Uh, creepy on so <laughs> many levels. Girls, you, I always pictured you giving her a Keith's ring. It meant so much to you. Oh, it's not Keith's ring. This is I always hoped she'd wear that ring, too. Oh, it's well, because... Oh, well, because I gave Keith's ring. Oh. Oh. Now yeah, she's gonna change the past too with him. I don't know. We're hanging out. We're having fun. What's wrong with having fun? Nothing. If it's I'm not leading anywhere. Else, so this is about Sam. Sam. 
Apparently. This is what about she wants now. Maybe. Well, maybe we should just slow it down, focus on the movie. And by slow down, you mean silent breaks. <sighs> Look, it's what the fuck is happening? I was happy at the start of the episode. I actually do love his relationship with his grandson. And this too. You know, we're using this as a location in the movie. A pretty big moment in our relationship. What are they talking about? Second of all, you don't know me. Stupid. When he came to fix her car? I have something for you. I propose. We're already engaged. So <laughs> yeah. Aww. I'm not so sure about that. You're gonna get your chance, Nathan. We both know yeah, that. Yeah, have faith, is, Nathan. Do. Right now, all you can do is wait. Ugh. Uh, your assistant let me in. Why is this? Oh. Yeah, Mia. That, um, this is Julian's father, right? Really His taste in directors, however, is still in question. I am staying way out of that argument. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. She has a good relationship with Julian's father. In fact, I remember reading about him and that little A-list actress of his that weekend in Sundance. Peyton, you can't believe everything you read in Hollywood, you know that. Paul, you Come on, me? Peyton! I was trying to promote a movie. Julian didn't even go to Sundance. He skipped his own movie. Seriously? So Seriously? Go straight to Brooke. Tell her. I knew he wasn't really that guy. Guys can make this that movie. kind of guy, you know. They can all make the movie. The question is which one of them will screw it up the least. He's sweet. He's so such a sweet movie. guy. It's been such a long time since they introduced a new character. And I just like fall for him. I feel like this is the only time they introduced a new character. I'm like, you know, so in love with him already. Is that what he told you, that I didn't make him wait? No, oh, I came to that conclusion when he showed me his new jacket. Oh. Brooke? <laughs> are you in Julian? No, not at all. Go. <laughs> well, okay, but who are you calling, little man? He's gonna call the Guess coach. Guess what I'm holding? I have a feeling like that he's gonna do it. Hi, this he's is gonna James call the Scott. Coach. We need to talk. Oh, I see. Yeah, he proposed <laughs> to me with it first, but I just had to... You don't sound very convincing. No, I love it. She wanted Keith's. I just. She I wanted Keith's ring. Envisioned wearing Keith's ring. Tracy, it's not all about X's and O's. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jamie! Jamie, 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 man. I can't with him. I can't with him. Why you're not gonna direct this movie? <laughs> who can recreate the feeling that I get every time I step out onto the river court at night? Both of which are amazing. Oh. I wanted to tell that to Julian. And you are just not the guy to do that. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> hey. Hi. Yeah, come on. I suck. Uh, like, but, yeah. Okay, all that stuff that I told you about Julian, I just found out that some of my facts were not entirely accurate. None of that changes the fact that you and I have been through way too much for me to violate the girl code now. Oh my god, the girl code? I'm Brooke, to your ex exactly, so thank you, Peter, for saying code. that. It's not even funny. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Peter, for, morning, for say saying that. Like, seriously. The fact that Nathan used to be that guy, like... He just came so far to the point where, you know, he always puts the team first. But after he picks your pocket a few times, you might want to switch to your left. You heard that? You heard that, coach? What about the rest of the team? Like, come on, they're losing. Look, I'm taking the last shot or I'm taking a seat. Please. Okay. Take a seat. Thank so, you. You know where you're supposed Put to be? By the way, I'm a yes, you know I don't even know if he's... That'll lie. Like, no, come exactly. on. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. It's not about him shooting the ball. It's about the team winning. I understand the feeling Lucas gets every time he steps on the river court. Seriously. I can show the audience how a song can instantly change Peyton. Seriously. I little, I'm a guy to do it. So rich. You son of a bitch. I'm so proud of you, son. I mean, he's so proud of it. He's here talking to him, so. I can't accept this ring. I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I was right where I belong. 
And it will be forever. Oh. What is this supposed to be? Yeah. It means we're going steady. <laughs> but now it turns out everyone was right. I am here for the girl in the book. The other girl. Yes. Maybe we should continue <laughs> Preferably with that. Yeah. I just want to come by and give you the good news myself. I'm directing the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Done. I signed on tonight. You and I are going to have some fun. Oh, I've got a couple thoughts about that last scene. Don't worry about it. We'll talk tomorrow. Partner. This guy is gonna screw the movie up. Seriously. Hello guys, welcome back to Furex. Have a wonderful day today. We're going to be reacting to One Tree Hell, season six, episode 16. This episode is called Screenwriters Blues. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. Because math don't care and- She's supposed to be Hayden and he's supposed what to be Nathan. Why don't you tell them their director's a jackass while you're at okay, it? Okay, we should go. And <laughs> Where's the shirt, buddy? <laughs> why? I mean, why? Always. Thank you, Karen and Andy. Oh, I miss Karen and Andy. Well, there's a girl at school. Oh, you like her? No. Yes, you do. No. You like her a no. lot. Well, lucky for you, women have never been able to turn a Scott man down. So you just flash your million dollar smile, say a few nice words, and. <laughs> <laughs> that is becoming likable. I'm starting what to forget all smiling? the wrong things that he did. Can't help. No wonder you were so popular, nice girl. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Make me popular. I made it popular. Exactly. Oh. Go have a seat with the other Paytons, and we'll call you when it's your turn. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I am Payton Sawyer. I really appreciate your confidence. He you don't understand. She is Payton Sawyer. <laughs> Tell me she's gonna wait. Don't tell me she's gonna wait her turn, like seriously. Why do people always leave? No way. <laughs> what a spade in this couch race. I'm too old, but she would make a great dad. Um, she's the real Peyton. Like well, she's be there the whole time if you need me. Is that your heart again? You're making me feel bad for them. Why are they all shirtless? I don't understand. I don't understand. Like seriously, I don't. You step in. <laughs> and the guy playing Whitey, who is just so cute. No. So you want to meet? What? And the guy. It feels like Julian has been like here, like from the start for some reason because he knows so much about what happened through through the book. So I feel like he was always part of it since he knows so much about all the stuff that happened. So you know, just perfect, like seriously perfect, like what a perfect way, what a perfect way to introduce Julian to the show, like and for him to end up being. Brooke's boyfriend, just amazing. Also the fact that he has history with Peyton. <laughs> so you wanna meet Brooke Davis? <gasps> Shut up. Oh She's my god, here? who who can play Brooke Davis? Like who? Like I can't imagine someone else other than Sophia Bush to play Brooke Davis. Like Brooke is Sophia and Sophia is Brooke. Like, come on, who can? Like, tell me who can. Like, like no one can, no one. No. Now I know how people must feel when they're meeting me for the first time. <laughs> Sweetie. Her? Brooke, this is... I'm missing me. Hi. 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 So I'm gonna need to know your likes, dislikes, mannerisms. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds great. Not you wanna sure. see me, coach? Yeah. <laughs> As I told you, no one can play book names other than Sophia Bush. I want to ask you something, and you don't want to get to the NBA? No, I do. But not at the expense of the other members of the team. You sound like a salesman. I believe in what I'm selling. Oh. So do I, starting next game. Be ready. 
I want to draw something that means something to someone. I love you, Luke. Why do I find this so cringy? I'm not sure why. But I've chosen darkness. <laughs> chosen darkness. That was great, thank you. Thanks. I'm I not lying. Love I love you, Luke, but I've chosen darkness. <laughs> what a lie. Besides, I'm not casting this movie based on who I want to sleep with. Exactly. <sighs> he has no idea what he's doing. Go with the girl with the nice rack. Now, if you want to disagree with me, Oh my god. Julian. Looks fine to me. Done. Seriously. Done. Okay, well, Mia. what is that for? You're gonna kill the baby. I don't, don't you think it should be a little more revealing or easy to strip off at least? You know, brookish. I don't Rookish? strip things off. Make it a little sexier, you know, brookish. What does he think of Brooke? What? You totally have a type. He looks a lot like Lucas. <gasps> He does a little bit. Yeah, he does a little bit. Just <laughs> she pulled her hair off. Here, you know, but Julian, come on. It wasn't just all like that with Brooke. Yeah, she was she was that Brookish before, but like, it's not about that. It's about the progress that she made, the change that she made. I'm Lauren, Jamie's teacher. He invited me to his grandpa's house after school, and the girl that he likes is his teacher. You look very nice, Miss Lauren. Thank you. <laughs> I just love this guy so much. Oh my god. Do you know what? Hey, Tyler's no. mom from Vampire no, Diaries. Come on. <laughs> Jamie's always been advanced for his age. We know he's reading The Time Traveler's Wife. Oh, that's one of my favorite books. Seriously, he's what reading that. Oh my that's god. Great. At his age. I thought you Kool Aid will be fine. <laughs> Back off. I swear to God, Jamie's hey, gonna be the end of me. No. Fine. That's not done, by the way. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> if you need help putting that thing back together, give me a call. I'm also a handyman. Come on. Already here, so he might just help with the <laughs> with Maid of Honor, really? Of course she is. Right. Yeah, it should be a surprise. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I think. Listen, I know I like Lucas, and I don't know who the hell you like anymore. This is all turning into one big love, like tangle plus one, whatever that is. Oh my god, this was in season one. Oh my god, like it gave me nostalgia. Like seriously, pretty good, right? In all this dialogue, yeah. where's Jamie? He's so cute. And he insists, forgot about Jamie. You're trying to embarrass me so Miss Lauren would like you better. Jamie? He was in prison! Jamie! I heard you was casting today. It was going it's almost fun. perfect, like, every time. That kind of came as a surprise. Hey, man, I'm trying to wrap my head around this Dan character. I don't get why he's got all this hatred for Keith. Reese wants to sign up. Me. <laughs> with Julian. Oh, wow. Letterman jacket. That's a good touch. Mm. High school Brooke did letter in sex. <laughs> <laughs> she changed. She came so far. Hey, how's the movie biz? Well, I had my first diva moment. Like Lucas said, there's two sides of Brooke Davis. <gasps> I just wanted to make sure I got your signature move right. No, what? I know. He's with you. I was student body president. I was the captain of the cheerleading Exactly. Club. I started a clothing line. It is amazing that I even had time for sex. Her three favorite things. Sex, sex, and sex. Who wrote this? Well, this is a business. You two aren't the only ones whose end oh, game is the Nathan. NBA. I understand. Okay, maybe Devon and I can work together. It's done. Nathan, oh, you're my Nathan. starter now. I need for you to focus on this. Who's more important here, you or Devon? My he family. knows what it means to have a family, right, you then. know. We're done. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> hey! Excuse me. <laughs> you! How could you run? Oh my god! <laughs> did she think that he was doing this? <laughs> I didn't write this. Exactly. And who did? First Don't tell me it's Jordan. That girl. <laughs> stupid jacket. Not that girl anymore. There is a lot more to me than just sex. 
Brooke. High school Brooke graduated. Hey, yes, Brooke. exactly. I am so fucking disappointed, like seriously. She didn't change after graduation. She even changed before that. And she is a lot more than just sex. Like she said, like she was so many things in high school. It's crazy. Was he in it just for sex? Like seriously? Don't worry, I know Because of how, about. you know, she was in her past. I was just kind of thinking maybe we could celebrate me winning the school essay contest. Really? <laughs> Sam, that's amazing. I am so proud of you. Thank you. <gasps> Can I put it on the fridge? <laughs> yeah. But we should be celebrating that. Oh, so, Jamie. What do you want? <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the way it just wiped that off. It's me. Um, I put the crib together. It's awesome. Oh, so I just want to call and say hi. I miss you. We were both in the popular crowd in school, even though we felt like outcasts. And I'll totally sleep with you. <laughs> I wanted you to fight for me. I wanted you to say there's no one else that you could ever be with and you'd rather be alone than without me. Oh my God, all those lines, man. It's so fucking nostalgic. Were you really a mathlete? I was the mathlete. <laughs> That's a breakdown describing the Brooke Davis I'm looking for. Oh. Motherly, childish, tough, sensitive. Oh my God. Beautiful. Way cooler than she was in high school. <laughs> yes! Way cooler! Oh my god! The girl has been nearly impossible to find, but worth every second of the way. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna make sure everybody knows. Finally, someone other than Lucas that understands the real Brooke. Oh my god. Man, 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 man. The fireworks, the fireworks, the chemistry. Like, they just fucking work. They work like. Oh my god. Like. Oh my fucking god. Is the father going to be joining us? Yes, yes he is! Yeah. I know you won't miss it for How'd the world. How would you know? I'm so happy you're here, Luke. Of course he is. Yeah, I Only knew it. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. Let's make a movie. Oh my god. The fact that they made it is happening at Trek. <laughs> Everything happens at Trick lately. Oh my god, what an amazing two episodes, like seriously. I just love it, love everything about it. Especially Julian and Brooke. Oh my god, I just... Oh. I can't, like seriously, I can't. Now I feel positive about the movie since Lucas made up his mind and chose the cast, finally. So I can't wait to see. I'm not sure if we're gonna see how the movie's gonna turn out. Like, not sure if we're gonna see it or not. But anyway, I feel like Katie's gonna get suspended and fired. But like, like Lucas said, she should do what she believes in. And Sam deserves to have this paper published. Like, you know, even though she said that it's stupid and it's not worth it. So, you know, it's worth it because it's her voice, you know, you can just shut it down. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you my reaction. See you in the next video.